Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're looking at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Rack here on our 2018 Kia Optima. So the Hollywood Racks Destination Bike Rack is a great option for when you only have a class 1 hitch like what our Kia has right now because you can still get a platform rack, the stability of a platform rack without it being too heavy. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. We have two wheel straps for the front as well as the back wheel. And then we also have this frame mount. So that frame mount is unique in its design because you can, you have a 360 degree rotation for this mount. So you can move it up, down, left, right, as well as around in order to fit around bikes with frames of different shapes and different sizes. So when you wanna take your bike off, you start at the wheel straps. So you press the lever on the strap, then you lift that strap up and then out of the way. So there's the front strap and then the rear strap. And with those two straps released, you then hold on to your bike as much as you can, press the lever on that frame mount, pull out that strap, and once that is released, you can then lift your bike slightly over that short mass, and then you're ready to go on a bike ride. With that bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look here at our bike racks, cradles, as well as straps. So here at eTrailer, we've started calling these cradles the wings because of the way they're shaped to accommodate different wheelbases. On each cradle, you have this strap. This strap also has a rubber cushion on the inside. So that's gonna help with grip onto your bike's wheel, but it's also gonna help cushion the top of that wheel so it doesn't get any extra scuffs and scratches as you ratchet that down and transport it. So let's put both straps into place because even if your bike is not on the bike rack, it's still a good idea to put those straps away that way they're not flopping around while you are driving around. You also have this front mast and that mast is just short enough where it's easy to bring your bikes over, but tall enough to provide a nice firm foundation for mounting your bike down. This bike rack has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike. So if you do have like a heavier electric bike, this will not be a good option for you, but for most of your normal mountain bike, road bikes, those are usually within the 35 pound weight capacity. Now, whenever you do have a bike rack on your vehicle, there's gonna be some length added to the back of it. So we'll take some measurements just to see how much length is gonna be added. So from the rear bumper of our Optima to the end of the bike rack by those plastic reflectors, it sits at 25 inches away from your vehicle. So that's a really nice compact measurement there. Still something to think about whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. It's already nice that you have a smaller vehicle compared to a large truck or sedan. So you'll still be able to take full advantage of that compactness. Okay, so with that masked up, you can also see how you're still able to open our trunk, which you would not be able to do if your bike was on. You can also lower that mask for a more portable position by moving this knob and then loosening it up enough to move that anchor point down and then tighten that back down. Then you bring this mask down and what I like to do is that I like to use the wheel straps on the cradles. I'll put that around the mask and then I'll use that to hold that mass down right there. Okay, so now if we have it in that position, I'll take some measurements real quick before we move it up to the portable position. We'll take a look at ground clearance. So our ground clearance at the middle of our bike rack is 18 and a half inches. At the end of the wings, it's gonna be 13 and three quarter inches. And then underneath the shank, right where it goes into the hitch receiver, you have a ground clearance of nine inches. So that ground clearance is gonna be very important 
especially on this vehicle because as you go up steep inclines like driveways or hills your front will go up but your back will go down so it does have a slight shank rise right over here because your bikes are going to be sitting on top so you'll be able to appreciate that shank rise now we'll put it into the portable position to do so you pull out this clip there we go and then you rotate this bolt so once that bolt is removed you can just let it swing because it has a string holding it in place you can then put this bike rack up pop that bolt back into place and tighten it down with the included knob which is nice because you're then you're not using a tool or a wrench to tighten it down you can just hand tighten it to get enough security with that fully tightened down we just pop this clip into the end of that bolt and that's going to secure that bolt all right so this is going to be the portable position taking a quick look you can still open your trunk with the bike rack folded up which is a nice extra bonus feature for the optima the length added is now going to be from the bumper to the end of the center portion it's going to be nine inches now it sticks out a little bit further down here so that's going to be 13 inches and then for where the wings are going to be those wings stick out about 15 inches so that's going to be a little bit of a difference compared to when it was folded down you'll definitely want it in this position when you're not planning on taking your bikes out but you're also not planning on taking your bike rack off you want it to be ready to go when you're ready to go so with this up here you can also see how we were able to open the trunk our license plate is not covered our backup camera is not covered so you still have that full visibility as do we we also see our tail lights are visible and our rear window is visible so you can still carry around a bike rack on your optima but you don't have to worry about sacrificing visibility or staying legal on the road which is awesome now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this Destination 2 bike rack has an inch and a quarter shank. So that fits into the class one hitch receiver we have here on our car. This uses an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. Now you also get a wrench from Hollywood Racks to tighten down that anti-rattle bolt. But what I recommend doing is just picking up a socket wrench with a three quarter socket. We have that here at E-Trail. It's gonna be so much easier that way to install it. So as you can see with that anti rail bolt in place, when I shake a bike rack, I'm mainly shaking the vehicle, showing that that connection there is secure, it's tight. As you go over potholes or as you go over bumps, you will get rattle from the road, but not extra rattle from an improper connection between the two, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall. Okay, so my final thoughts about this bike rack is that the Kia Optima does not have as many options when it comes to hitches. If you do end up with a class one hitch with a lower weight capacity, this is actually probably the best option when it comes to getting a bike rack because you still get a platform rack, but since it's so light, you don't have to sacrifice the limited weight you already have on your vehicle. You can use it and focus on carrying the important things, which is your bicycles from one point to the other. It's also an easy to lift and store bike rack since it is so light. I do recommend that as well, since it may fit inside your vehicle for if you want to carry it real quick. So that was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack here on our 2018 Kia Optima.